Hi boys and girls, it's evening time so I can actually say good evening to you all, like you all say good evening Mr Ahmed on the register when it's morning, but it's actually evening so good evening. I thought it might be nice if I could read you a book and I've brought one of my favourite books home with me so I can read it to you. And this book's a special book to me because Zaid bought it for me as a present last year when he wasn't going to be in my class anymore. So thank you, Zaid. I wanted to read this to all the children in reception class now. Okay, so I'm going to read it to you. So, the amazing Mr. Ahmed. Batley is the best place in the world. And there's the world and there's Batley. Because in Batley, there is the best school in the world. Warwick Road Primary School, our school, and it is the best school. And in Warwick Road Primary School, there is the best class in the world, Sun Class and Moon Class. And in Sun Class, there is the best, 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 best teacher in the world, Mr. Ahmed, and Miss Kitson, and Mrs. Gora, and Mrs. Shahari, and Miss Rawat, and Mrs. Muller when she was with us. Mr. Ahmed is not only the best teacher in the world, he is a superhero with superpowers. He is a time traveller. He takes us back through history and time. He is an explorer. He knows so much about the world. He is a magician and he can conjure up fantastic stories. His brain is like a supercomputer. Some of his abilities are so strong, they're scary. He has eyes in the back of his head to keep watching you boys and girls. He can silence the room in just one look. <laughs> his most amazing skills will last a lifetime because he plants magical little seeds of knowledge that will always grow in your brains, boys and girls, and that's what makes you so super clever, because I told you my superpowers make you boys and girls super clever. He shows us where to look, but not what to see. And his greatest power of all is... Mr. Ahmed changes the world one class at a time. The end. I hope you like that story, boys and girls. I've got a few other stories that maybe I can read tomorrow. I've got lots and lots in the box, but I thought I might show you some of these and you can choose which book you might like. So we've got Giraffe's Cart Dance. I've got Stickman. That's one of my favourite books too. And The Gruffalo's Child. So if there's one of these books that you might like to read tomorrow or the, the day after, let me know and we can have a read of those. Okay, so see you boys and girls tomorrow.